Hi everyone, I'm recording my um, completed pages for October quite early, so that's a disclaimer straight away from the <laughs> beginning of the video. I think currently when I'm recording this, this is 23rd of October, but I will not have any more time this month at all to colour anything, so I thought I'll just um, record it in advance. So again, um, not a, an, an extremely huge amount of coloured pages, but I hope you enjoy the ones that I managed to finish this month. The rest of my spooky colouring will have to be wait until November, which is fine because I'm not particularly seasonal with my colouring. So let me shift to the little pile and go through it. Well, not spooky at all for the beginning, this month's resident mermaid is from Mermaid Chippy Girls coloring book, and that's by Larisa May. Um, I started that. That's my officially. That's my last work in progress. From I think I started that in April when I started coloring in the first place. So there she is. She's not particularly. I mean, if I, if I was coloring from the beginning right now i would do it completely differently but majority was done in april when i had kind of very different ideas for color schemes and all that um and i just yeah whips just bother me i can't i know i now learned i can't have any so that was the last one i haven't got any at all and she's now finished and she's my mermaid for this month it's quite simple and straightforward. Um, beautiful little book. I'll try to maybe redeem myself <laughs> because this is kind of, um, it's okay, but you know, nothing spectacular. But um, maybe I'll, I'll do another one soon um, and it'll be slightly better than this one. But yeah, so that was my mermaid for this month. And then I'll maybe do my body colors. So I had two body colors this month, both with Pixie from Pixie's Projects. One in this book, Hello Beautiful Fall. And this is my version of it. We actually choose very similar colors, which is just so nice. <laughs> I think it's just so funny when that happens. Sometimes you just have similar ideas. So I will, let me shift that a little bit more, I think. And I will include um, Pixie's beautiful photo in here. I really love the way she's done hers. It just looks spectacular. So um, hopefully you'll be able to see a um, photo of her finished page in here. So yeah, so that's the one in Hello Beautiful Fall. This is a very nice book. I really like it. And my other body colour was in, um, also with, with Pixie, with, uh, in this book rather, Easy Co um, sorry, Cute Little Dragon Halloween. And I've done this dragon. And I've done, I've done it mostly with, well, dragon's body is done with markers. Um, that little background is done, I think, with gel crayons. And that little sheet on him is done with soft pastels. And I kind of went monochromatic on him, as you can tell. It's all shades of purple, um, but I really like him. At the time, as I told you, I'm recording it really early, um, a week before the end of the month. So at this point, I haven't got Pixie's uh, photo um, yet. So um, head to her channel and have a look at um, her little dragon. Um, I'm sure it's going to be spectacular. But um, as I'm doing this very early, I haven't got uh, Pixie's photo to include at this point. But uh, thank you, Pixie, for both um, body colors. It was a lot of fun and it makes me color in <laughs> books that, um, well, I would color eventually. But yeah, um, 
pick them up maybe sooner than um, than I would get to them, which is great. So that was my little dragon from here. I also done one in Matchstick Mouse somewhere, <laughs> somewhere here, somewhere here. here. Here she is, not mouse actually, not mice. In this one, there is a little bit of stickles on the star, so I'm trying to see if I can show you the a little bit of shine, but it's yeah, kind of subtle, I think perhaps. So yeah, I've done just this one. Actually, literally just finished this half an hour before recording this. So it's done with markers and a little bit of um, glitter glue on the stars only. Yeah, that was a kind of quick one. And again, happy with happy with that one. So yeah, Matchstick Mouse Halloween. I'll try to do a little bit more maybe in this one next month as well. I would like to do another one in there. And then I've done Happy Cats by Angela Gonzalez. And I chose this more Halloween-y cat. I really like how that turned up. I like the color palette. Um, that's done pretty much, yeah, only with markers, really. It's just that little shading on the eyes of a uh, cat and whoever that is, maybe spider, I think spider, perhaps. Um, so yeah, just that little shading in here that's done with um, with pencil, but uh, everything else is pretty much markers. So yeah, really happy with how that turned up. Um, it's got like the, I love these shades of green, like olive green, moss green, whatever names, um, different you know different um brands will give that kind of mossy olivey color uh, that's my favorite shade of green so i really like how um because it's muted i kind of like muted um green so yeah really happy with that with with this one and it's a beautiful book as well and then I tried to do some spooky things for this month as well. So I picked up Spooky Boy. So that's not a Kokowayo book. That's by um, illustrated by Lainey Dow. And I did this one in Spooky Boy. And again, it's markers. Apart from the wall, which is done with soft pastels again because there is no way I was going over all of that with pencil. It's just, I don't possess this kind of patience. <laughs> While soft pastel is quick and it gives the exact effect that I was looking for. So um, I use quite uh, soft pastels quite often for things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy again how he turned up. Um, yeah, really nice book as well. So that one, I've done two in Camellia Angelkova. Again, I think I was prompted to, to, to color in both of those books. If I had more time this month, I would definitely do more. But this month was absolutely horrid. <laughs> I had to work so much. Um, yeah, it's just time at work is, is, you know, it took over my weekends. It took over a majority of my free time. It's not done yet, so I think this is going to continue till about mid-November. So, yeah, I don't really have any time, um, any spare time, to be honest. So, yeah, I would do much more. I was prompted by the um, by the hashtag that was um, Camellia, to colour in Camellia Angelkova's book, and that was by Elm Colours. So, um, but I managed only to do two this month and I've done this one in the that's miniatures isn't it yeah that's miniatures 50 miniatures so I've done the little mice and again they tad glittery so I'm trying to hopefully you can see a little bit of that so there is a gel glitter gel pen on the little bits on the wings and little horns of the outfit for the red mouse and on the bats and glitter glue on the stars, I think. Yeah, 
so yeah it's a bit shiny i really enjoy that so yeah so it was this one and i also done one in here and it's this one this one also has a lot of glitter but i'm not sure if you can see it um the you know the sparkle noir glitter pen i put the glitter all over the kind of moon face of the moon but i'm not sure if it shows hopefully it shows yeah love this one as well and i like the again color palettes um i like the limited color palettes with like a pop of random color like this green it kind of yeah i enjoy that so yeah enjoy that a lot and then what we've got next we've got Kokowayo book because yeah there's <laughs> got to be a Kokowayo book somewhere so this month I picked up Autumn Breeze which is the book that is actually one of the very first that I bought from Kokowayo but I haven't colored in it god knows why I've got too many books that's why um so I've got this one this month and again it was loads of fun um I did that frame in metallic marker but oh yeah it actually you can see a little bit it's not particularly shiny but it does show that it's a metallic marker so yeah i really like this one it's a lovely book again i hope to do at least one more next month um i really really like it i like less kind of i'm not really much of a scenery person I mean, I don't mind now and then, but like like this, I'm not like huge fan. But it has it, it has such a wide variety of different um, pictures in it that I really like this book. And there's quite a few portraits which I quite enjoy, and things like this which I enjoy. Or this, um, so yeah, and there are lots of <laughs> wash lines, <laughs> which is absolutely fine. Oh, I love this one. Maybe this one. I'll do oh this one this one's cool yeah it's kind of sound of music isn't it maybe they'll do this one who knows who knows yeah lovely book i started with this one and i really really like how it turned up i consciously try to do some kind of different color than my usual because i tend to stick to similar muted color palettes so i then her dressing kind of more vibrant magenta pink but yeah i think it i think it worked all right yeah so it's that one and then we've got my oops most recent subscription issue of coloring happen um but there's halloween which is a lovely issue really wonderful and i've done this one by J.M. Leoti. I think I've seen quite a few people did this one because I think it's such a beautiful illustration. So I definitely have seen few people tackling this one. And I've seen some beautiful versions of, um, of this one on um, Instagram, I think. Yeah, on Instagram. But it's a fantastic book. So again, I try to maybe do at least one more next month i'm hoping that i'll grab some time next month i would really like to color a bit more and it's funny because it, it is a very it was october well still is very stressful month and one of my thing to tackle stress is to be able to color but obviously because of lack of time i wasn't able to so this stress was just building and building and building which is not great, but hey, you know, sometimes it is like this. It's not permanent, though. It will eventually get better. Um, Fabiana Athanasius' um, book from the Mythagoria series, Night Terrors. I've done one in here. Again, I wanted to do more in this book this month, but yeah, didn't get to do that. I've done this one and it's wonderfully creepy illustration really creeped creeped me out i like quite a lot of illustrations from this book i think maybe two or three that i'm not sure if i will ever color 
um, unless I find some way to actually I thought of way how to tackle the ones that I don't really want to that maybe I'll end up coloring them in the way that kind of I thought about but we'll see we'll see but there's quite a few that I do like and I will color and this this one is one of them so yeah this is done with um, ink tens no no sorry not ink tens graphite tint so it's mostly graphite tint apart from that green thingy which I don't know if you see it's slight oh there you go so you can see a little bit so this is just metallic permanent marker I initially wanted to do it with a um, watercolor metallic watercolor which would also work actually really great but there was so many tiny tiny details that I thought oh I'm gonna probably this is gonna take forever and I don't know if I have the patience to go into all those teeny tiny things and metallic marker will do the job and you know what it did it did the job just fine so yeah really like this one although I swear this is creepy as no matter what and then I've done another one in that's my last one in menagerie because I can't put this book away and I think I'm still not done with it there are still many that I really want to do don't get me wrong I love all of my mythographic books literally every single one I love them all but I kind of stuck with this one right now and I've done this particular one because it, it kind of felt a little bit more spooky than others I think there is another one that was very kind of Halloween-y oh yeah this one but maybe maybe next time Halloween yeah I just kind of I really wanted to do this one and this is oh, this is neo color to background and ink tense and regular polychromos pencil on the chair and everything else and the eggs and stuff and the glitter pen black glitter pen on my wings and i'm not sure whether that shows oh yeah because it looks quite nice in person, but I'm, I always not sh I'm always not sure whether that translates. But yeah, very, very happy with that. Um, so I've got like three done in this book and I'm really happy with all three. So yeah, that's cool. And I think I'll maybe do another one next month. Because like I said, I'm still, I'm still not done with this book. Far from it, actually. I still want to color in it, so you'll probably see it next month. And I think that that would be all of my completed pages. Like I said, not a huge amount, but unfortunately, that was all I could do this month. Um, I won't be able to um, color anything by the end of the month which is like in the next seven days the next opportunity i will have to go back to coloring will be from beginning of november so hopefully i'll do a little bit more um for my own sanity <laughs> if anything um yeah thank you for watching i hope that you enjoy that little little collection of completed pages and i will see you shortly bye <music>